Hello Libra! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of February of 2021 spiritual advice reading. I'm going to start out with the Gypsy Oracle deck. I like to use this deck first because it pinpoints specific people, places, circumstances, situations, and environments by which I am being guided to translate these energies for Whichever Libra I'm reading for. Okay, sorry, I'm getting a lot of downloads right now. All right, I'm going to lay a circle spread, and I'm going to switch the camera real quick here so that it's not pointing at me, but so that it's sitting on my tripod so that you guys can see the reading as I lay it out in this circle spread. So, uno momento, por favor. Okay, so here we are, Libra. Again, this is the Gypsy Oracle deck, and I'm going to lay a circle spread. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Libra I am reading for. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Bless this Libra with clearly defined messages regarding career and finance, love and romance, and spiritual guidance during the second half of February of 2021. All right, so in the center of the circle spread, we have a Libra who is thinking about uh, a wife energy. Uh, wanting to be a wife uh, is what I'm feeling. Planning to be a wife. And in the thoughts position, by mid-February, we have a Libra who's thinking about uh, their fortune. So, gosh, we got a wife energy thinking about how fortunate they are in some way mid-February. Now, in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we have the waiting card. So we have a, a Libra here who is waiting on the deepening of a commitment partnership with another marriage-wise and or are waiting uh, on some form of fortune. Um, it's interesting to me, this didn't jump out to me before, but the fortune card has some form of blindfold on. So waiting, uh, I, I feel like money has something to do with making a decision regarding a deeper commitment or marriage. So we'll clarify that in a little bit. Yeah, and now in the creative aspects position, we have the soldier energy. So, I feel like this is a Libra here. I almost feel like it's a feminine Libra who is feeling a little bit cold or closed off. They're thinking about a deeper commitment, becoming a wife. But they're kind of waiting because they're wondering, with the blindfold, how a situation is going to affect their money. Interesting. So in the actions position, we have a Libra who uh, doesn't seem to be taking a lot of action as opposed to just our learning to heal. So this Libra I'm feeling, male or female, has been kind of cold and closed off, kind of protecting themselves because of uh, a fear regarding this wife energy, however that applies to you. Waiting on maybe a deeper commitment but definitely feeling a bit closed off when it comes to money uh, or things of the material. But spirit saying you can now heal um, and you may be feeling like you have healed in this area by the end of February. Because emotionally there is some form of conversation with another or others. I do feel like this is someone who is wanting to have a conversation about why they drug their feet, uh, why they've waited here. But I feel most importantly by the end of February that a conversation is going to help you to heal from why maybe you were dragging your feet here. Libra. So in the subconscious position, we have the constancy energy. This is someone who's very stubborn. So, uh, boy, you could have been dealing with a wife who was stubborn. And now you're waiting because you don't know. Maybe you're fearing that you'll connect with another person who's cold or closed off. Or mm, 
Yeah, you may be recognizing subconsciously that you've been a little bit stubborn because you're afraid to make some change here. Now, in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the sorrow card. So we have sorrow, uh, stubbornness, a wife waiting on a fortune, healing from someone who was cold and closed off. I feel like there's a Libra here who still needs to heal from the sorrow of a wife tied to the past or a commitment tied to the past. And it's made you either feel stubborn about moving forward with someone or uh, you are waiting to see how a stubborn energy is going to react to you moving forward with some form of fortune and money here. Yeah, the wife is looking at the money. And you're thinking about having a communication with someone here because their energy caused you sorrow. Wow. So I just got a perspective from a masculine and a feminine that are quite different from one another. Now, in the inner strengths position, Spirit is giving this Libra the strength of the consolation prize energy. I'm really feeling like the strength to uh, give thanks to the little things, actually. Kind words and messages is what will help for you to heal. Uh, it could be that someone's coming back who was difficult to help you to heal through some form of conversation here. Wow, so we're definitely gonna be clarifying in a little bit. Now in a three card summary to my left, we have misfortune, someone who's ready for marriage, and then a doctor energy, so let's look. Yeah, in the past or by mid-February, we have a Libra who's thinking about a situation involving a child or children whereby there was some form of misfortune misfortunate energy, and a wife, a commitment that led to some form of sorrow here. And then we have communication or paperwork uh, coming through, some form of message here. Uh, so I feel like this Libra is worried about communication or paperwork, or you're going to be receiving some um, from someone who's quite stubborn, maybe someone tied to the past. I feel like Some want to come back and communicate with a person tied to the past, relationship person to the past. Now, during the second half of February of 2021, we do have, yeah, this young woman energy. So this is either you or someone else, male or female, who's been there, done that, and now they know that they are ready for marriage. But they're looking at someone else who has the haughtiness energy of the peacock, which is someone who's walking in their ego, okay? Focused only on looks or money. Yeah. So whether this is you or someone else with the Lord energy, this masculine uh, is someone who's either a father figure, grandfather figure, someone who's financially abundant, secure, and stable. Uh, yeah, he's looking back when you lay it this way at a young woman who had energies of falseness. Um, or the young woman is looking at a masculine who's walking in his ego. So let's see. Yeah, there's a shocking realization here that a connection has ended. Okay, so someone was trying to figure out someone tied to the past, but are coming to the realization that that situation caused sorrow. Therefore, it needs to be let go of. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah. See, there's despair, but there's hope. And again, another blindfold. Take off the blindfold and figure out, are you hoping for more energies of despair and sorrow? Because spirit is giving this Libra the strength to go away from sorrow into the direction of faithfulness. So someone's going to travel towards you or you towards them closer to the end of February, early March, Libra. And there's going to be a conversation, maybe with someone new, with someone who's got the melancholy energies. They're stable, they're secure, they're content. And you may be thinking about creating a deeper connection with someone new. That's if you're single. Yeah, someone here is... 
thinking about this is a single person. They're thinking about a friend of the past. Or or no, this is like someone new. Fearing that they can't be trusted because the person in the past couldn't be trusted. Yeah. Thinking about their money, their profits with the merchant card. Thinking about, you know, is someone going to help me to heal and rise above old situations? Yeah, and someone here is having a hard time letting go of the joyfulness of the past. But you have transformed. For if you're coupled and you're making a commitment deeper, um, I feel like some are saying, you know what, I have served and served and served this situation. I put all my time and effort in, but I'm feeling a little bit trapped or stuck. I'm waiting on greater fortune and offer an opportunity to come. Uh, for some, you're waiting for a deeper commitment, uh, a ring. Um, yeah, watch out for stubbornness and sorrow because something will come here. It's like if, if you act stubborn and, and sorrowful because you don't have what you're waiting for, you could repel it from coming your way, okay? But if you trust and have conversation about where things are headed or what you want from another, then that gives them the clarity to work it out with you. For some, I'm feeling like you are indeed in a very fortunate situation and you can free yourself from the unhealthy connections of the past. Wow, so I'm gonna bring in clarification here. With the Witch's Tarot deck by Ellen Dugan, and I'm bringing in a tarot deck so I can look at the astrological signs and or elements of those by which uh, Libra will be dealing with during the second half of February. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels of 2021. Okay. So we have a lot of passion here. That's good. Beautiful. Some of you may find out if you know a Gemini being represented by the Major Arcana, the Lover's Card that they are getting married. Um, but mostly I feel like this is a, a commitment that's gone on for a period of time and there's a lot of passion and someone is thinking about uh, becoming a wife or husband or however that applies. Now in the thoughts position by mid-February of 2021, wow, we got fortune and we've got the 10 of pentacles. So this is not only financial abundance, material abundance, but it's like traditional abundance, family, good things in your life. <clears throat> There's a lot of passion and goodness here. So definitely take off the blindfold and remember to give thanks to Spirit daily for the blessings you have so that they will continue to come. Now in the relationship sector to another or others, again, we may have with the Page of Swords energy, someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. This could just be a child that is a bit difficult in the relationship sector or some form of truth that you're waiting to communicate with someone like we talked about. Now in the creative aspects position, if you're single, Libra, for some of you, you're going to have some form of unexpected person come towards you with the Eight of Wands energies. Someone who's a love them and leave them energy, you'll know them because they're cold and they're closed off. They're, uh, they act rather immature with their communication. In your actions position, this is the high priest card. This is the uh, area of marriage, commitment, partnership. So as you take action to plan your marriage for some, in the second half of February, know that spirit is helping for you to heal from the cold, closed off energies of the past that caused you sorrow. Some may be, again, waiting on communication from someone who's kind of just watching you from a distance. If you're single, maybe you want to marry someone because of the passion. Now, in the... Emotional aspects position, we have the hermit. 
Sometimes I can represent Virgo, but I'm more or less feeling like spirit saying uh, there will be a conversation that's going to give you pause for thought. Looking at the path you have been on and now getting clear about where you are headed. Passionate about the traditional life you are creating and waiting patiently. Healing as you plan. In the subconscious position. We have a situation involving a child or children, a situation involving one's past or childhood, uh, a situation involving very playful energy. I'm feeling like a situation tied to the past that may or may not have involved children caused energies, uh, connected this Libra with someone who is very stubborn. It's like someone's trying to let go of a stubborn wife energy tied to the past. but they're still kind of keeping an eye on them. Hmm. But when they try, when you, tr when this Libra tries to create something with this person, it's like they have this harsh exterior. And again, they just cause sorrow. So spirit says in your day-to-day -day aspects position, we're going to give you the major arcana, the strength card, Libra, to have the strength to look at a situation that caused sorrow, to communicate your truth to someone who's stubborn, who keeps coming back around, but who is cold and closed off. You cannot change this person of the past, but what you can do is heal and move forward. So in your woo, inner strengths position, Spirit is giving this Libra the strength of the Empress. Beautiful. So as a major arcana, Spirit is helping for this Libra, male or female, to give birth to a person, place, circumstance, situation, environment. Uh, this could be a mother figure, a wife figure, someone who's very spiritual. Yes. Someone is going to make an offer, kind words and messages to you. I think it's someone that is new, that is helping for you to heal, Libra. If you're single, if you're in a partnership, really the main message here in the second half of February is to remember to give thanks to spirit as you plan forward movement, as you let go of those who used to be, but who no longer serve you. Yeah, so see, in a three-card summary, we've got um, a Libra who's looking passionately at one or two different directions or someone or something at a distant distance. A spirit saying it's time now to put your time and effort into uh, the manifestation of what it is you are passionate about now instead of what used to be. Um, because, you know, if you reminisce on something that was painful or difficult in the past, maybe someone who had air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, you could actually draw this person back towards you. Uh, but the Knight of Wands is a love them and leave them energy, leaving you in a state of confusion with the moon energy. Yes. Yeah. So you could draw someone towards you in the second half of February 2021 who has the Seven of Swords energy, someone who is sly, cunning, and dishonest, um, someone who is cold and closed off in the area of money, uh, someone who may be dealing with sadness or depression. Um, wishes can be made come true at this time for you. A celebration can be made when it comes to family and friends. Um, if you can leave behind someone who is walking in their shadow side, someone who is carrying negative energy. Uh, as soon as you free yourself from anyone who has negative energy, uh, the quicker you do, the more you're going to shine with the sun energies. That light within you is going to shine out for the world to see. And then we have um, you guys in your element with the Queen of Swords energy, saying I'm setting goals and meeting goals to create a happily ever after, and I'm going to maintain my boundaries to the point where I will very fairly, kindly, and justly cut away from anyone who does not serve me. 
I'm going to lay down old passionate connections. And I know that spirit with the major arcana, the fool, is going to help for me excitedly and enthusiastically to plan forward movement in my life, to move on from those who were cold or closed off that caused me sorrow. Yeah, it's as I let go with the death card as a major arcana, so too can I move into the direction of emotional balance and contentment with the temperance angel. So we got two major arcanas here. If you're single, as you get rid of negative people in your life and bring those to a spiritual close, uh, some of you are going to be able to finally move forward with someone who has Sagittarius in their chart with the major arcana, the temperance angel. Uh, if you're in a relationship, like that's if you're just meeting someone, it could be Sag. Uh, but if you're in a relationship, Either way, as you let go of negative people, you clear your energy to allow for good things to come in, right? And you now know good as opposed to what wasn't good. Some of you are going to receive a lot of attention and recognition and maybe even some form of temptation. But um, Spirit saying, watch for people uh, who cause sorrow. You're going to have the strength to sidestep them and to give birth instead to the things that are happy and good in your life. So I'm going to clarify with the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed for whichever Libra I am reading for. Yeah, so we have someone here. There's a passionate connection, but they are very unsure, right? The lover's card is about passion, but it's also about indecision. Spirit is saying, if there is chaos tied to a situation, you got the number nine, which is Spirit's way of saying it's time to bring a situation to an end, even if you wanted to become a wife energy. Uh, for some, you're thinking about someone who's attractive on the outside, um, but not so much on the inside. Remember, this rose has thorns, all right? Uh, don't focus just on someone's looks or their money. Uh, it's up to you to decide in the relationship sector. Are you going to summon someone into your path? Or are you going to say, no, you cannot come in? Because someone's going to be watching you or you're going to be keeping an eye on someone else. Or again, you're dealing with someone who's a tad bit immature with the Page of Swords energies. Uh, so wait patiently until you recognize this chaotic energy and know that it's up to you to decide, right? If you make a bad decision regarding a partnership, the energies of misfortune may go on for the next five to 10 years. If you make a good decision and free yourself from negative energy, then wonderful blessings will come in. So when it comes to unexpected communication for some Libras, uh, by the week of the 22nd, um, you've got the risk card. Make sure you don't hop, skip and jump off this cliff and take a risk. Think things through, especially in the relationship sector. In fact, they're saying, uh, I feel like from mid-February into mid-March, as you create the next chapter of your life, uh, you will have the process of healing. Spirit is saying for the next month with the listening card, Listen not to the words someone is feeding you, but to their actions. If they don't do as they say, then they are causing energies of chaos. One moment. My apologies. That was the uh, UPS driver. All right. So listen in your actions position for the next month. Okay. Not to the words someone's feeding you, but to their actions. Because emotionally... There is going to come some form of communication. We've got a message and the conversation card. And Spirit's saying, think on it, right? After you communicate with someone, take some time to think. They may be attractive on the outside, but if they cause chaos in your heart, don't take a risk. Don't summon them in. Yeah, subconsciously know that the High Priestess of Fire is going to help you to control your emotions I'm sorry, your passionate desires when it comes to someone who's very stubborn, someone tied to your past, your childhood, or a situation involving children. You can either summon that chaos into your life, or you can identify the chaos and not take a risk. So day-to-day -day spirits saying, no matter how badly you want to go into and through this doorway, this doorway is 
blocked in order to protect you. Spirit is giving you the strength to resist a journey of sorrow. Don't take a risk and jump into a path of chaos. In your inner strengths position, Spirit's giving you the strength to create connections, only connections that are loyal and create only uh, a connection whereby you want to give your loyalty to. Yeah, someone's going to throw you a bone, but you're going to have the strength to decide, should I give birth to the situation or not? Is it built only on passion or not? Wow. So in a three-card summary, we've got let go of deceptive hidden secrets and look for love. Because whoever thinks this is love or what used to be was love, you'll be able to bring that to a conclusion. You'll be able to bring a conclusion as well to complicated situations and unhealthy patterns, behaviors, cycles, or addictions. Spirit saying, have hope in the beautiful environment of your home that you are currently residing in for you are where you were meant to be. Focusing on your unique creativity, talents, and skills. The Choices Angel will be flying in at the end of February, going into early March, and is telling you that where you should put your attention at this time and the risks you should take have to do with your own unique talents and skills. For that will bring you playful energy back into your life, a solid foundation, and eventually uh, through some form of learning or research or spiritual awareness, we have a Libra here who's saying, I now realize what I learned before, that I've been here and done this, and I will not anymore. So a few different messages there. Some for um, you know, committed Libras, now's the time to free yourself from all that has been and get excited about the future. Um, some Libras who are clinging to the past and what used to be, if it is chaotic, Spirit wants to send you something better. Um, financially as well, you know, what you put your time and effort into um, at some point will bring very good results, right? So give thanks to the blessings that you currently have, knowing that as you do, more will come. So should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly video reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the winter special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you to those of you whom have liked, shared, and subscribed. Remember to click on the bell because I am spiritually guided as to when to release these videos. Therefore, you will be the first to know. Thank you so very, very much to those of you whom have donated to keep this channel up and running. Take care. And God bless.